Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by two guests who work for the Jonas Philanthropies. Uh, the work from Jonas focuses on healthcare for nurses and veterans, children's environmental health, and the overall health of the climate. I'm really looking forward to learning more about what uh, Lendry and Althea have to say. Thanks for being with us both. Lendry, do you mind just walking all of us through the path you, you took to getting to where you are now as vice president? I have always had my heart in social service work. Um, I started with Teach for America. I was put in Oakland where I was a special ed teacher, got my master's and two teaching degrees. And I got a call from my grandfather that he was gonna start a um, charitable enterprise. He was gonna auction off some art that had appreciated in value that he'd been very proud of and had over the years. And as he was moving into retirement, he wanted to give back and do something um, great for the world. And so he asked if I wanted to sort of join in somehow. And he gave me a sort of a small budget at first to focus on um, at-risk youth in the East Bay area, which is what I focused on um, youth um, mentorship, um, different, different areas, school to work programs. And then I went to work for Price Charities in San Diego and slowly have been building my, my skill set from there and just have just stayed engaged. I've always pushed us um, to, to be as um, broad thinking as we can and as progressive as we can. And it's been a great journey. So Althea, how did your path kind of wind up uh, crossing with Lendry's? Well, uh, Rishi, my background is in public health. And so um, when I graduated college, I went and worked with Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And there was a program with the National Cancer Institute. And then I also um, moved into grants management. So that's how I became involved in research. And then also I moved on to eventually work and uh, earn my master's degree in public health and my doctorate in education. And in doing that, I was looking for a position that actually allowed me to combine all of these skills together. So when I found out about this position, I applied and went through the process and thankfully here I am. So that was a great experience and it really has helped me use all of my skill sets from those areas. Uh, so with that in mind, I guess one thing I wanted to kind of flag is that a lot of our, our uh, learners or listeners are future care clinicians or they're going to be public health leaders like, like the two of you are. You mind just kind of sharing a little bit of advice, perhaps, for someone that's just starting in the field, and they see the two of you are obviously well accomplished in, in your respective areas. How did you get there, and how does someone that's just starting out kind of fall in, in your footsteps? One thing I would say is uh, remain persistent, and uh, definitely, you know, identify where you not necessarily just think you should be or think you want to be, but also be open to new opportunities as well. Sometimes the opportunities don't necessarily come in the way that you expect them. So while you should have a goal, have a pathway, you know, have a plan, just be open to some of those new opportunities that might also be able to adjust your plan so that you will see the place where you thought you might want to be, you can actually get there sooner or you might get something even better. I guess what I would add is um, same thing, being really flexible. I thought I was gonna do education, then this window opened to philanthropy, and now I've become sort of an, an advocate um, and an activist in environmental health. And, and be open, you don't know where your path is gonna lead, but cultivate mentors along the way and make sure you're keeping a list of people that can support you and keep up with those people because you never know when you're gonna need help and support down the road. And so find your mentors. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.